Hello, welcome back to the Bucks County Beer Review Beer Basement. And tonight we have one from my list of Shane's from Shane's Challenge, Shane's Craft Beer Review. Five, the last five beers you're ever going to have. Um, so far I've done Samuel Smith's Organic Chocolate Stout, Foster's Lager, and Arrogant Bastard. Tonight I'm going to do Pilsner or Quell. And the French Toast Bastard will be the last one. I have that in the fridge. Probably be the next review that I do. So as you saw in the beginning of the video I showed, I got two of these bottles here. Pilsner or Quell, I don't think I've ever bought it in bottles. I think I've always had cans. This will be my first try out of a bottle. And certainly the first time I've ever packed it in ice ahead of time. And we'll see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> Pilsner Raquel is 4.4% ABV and according to untapped 40 IBUs and they're not always right so but I was a little bit shocked that Pilsner Raquel gets a 3.37 I thought for sure that would be at least close to 4 and that's with 358,000 ratings <clears throat> I bought this 12 pack today I I think I paid $12.49 for it at the local Acme supermarket. Um, Pilsner Arquell started in 1842, and it's now owned by the Asahi Group Holdings. <clears throat> okay, uh, what it says on untapped about Pilsner Arquell is, we brewed Pilsner Arquell in the same brewery using the same recipe for over 175 years. And it also says Pilsner Raquel's signature flavor balances sweetness from the triple decocted malt and bitterness from our Saz hops. All right, so let's crack this baby open, get my opener. And I'm using one of my new glasses. Here we go. I don't see any smoke. It's a green bottle. I'm detecting a very little bit of skunkiness, but it doesn't smell too bad. Actually, it's hard to tell. It looks like it's a burnt. It's not a green bottle. It's got a green label on it. Looks like a brown bottle. It's somewhere in between brown and green. I never noticed that before. Oh well. That's a pretty beer. Clear. Nice white head. I can smell almost, I can actually smell a little bit of bitterness. Let's see what the head tastes like. I can taste the bitterness. Uh, it's grassy, bready. Let's go into the body. Cheers. I love that bitterness. Really love that bitterness. It's light bodied. It's delicious. No American Pilsners have that combination of light body, bready, and bitterness. None that I'm aware of, anyway. None that I've tried. At 4.4%, would be easy to drink for me, a whole six-pack in one evening. I'm sure for many of you, too. Not that you do that kind of stuff. 
Some of you do. I know you do. Absolutely love it. That's why I put it on my list of my last five beers. This one is either a solid A or an A+. Plus. Go with 97 out of 100. Especially in this, in this style, you might even say 98 or 99. I'll go with 97. The skunkiness that I thought I smelled when I first opened it, I don't taste it. It tastes good. So that wraps up another one. My next review will be the French Toast Bastard. And that'll be my last of the five from Shane's Challenge. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Cheers.